Hey everybody, I'm Brebo from Bossy Brushes and in this video we're going to talk about how to properly care for your paintbrushes. If you guys got a paint kit from us, you got 12 high quality brushes that you can use with your paintings. And these are great and I love them and they'll last you for a long time, as long as you're properly taking care of them. Today we're going to talk about how to do that. So these are, my, this is my set, they're a little bit worn because I've been using them. They're really good, they'll last you for years and years. I've actually had another set of these that I did use for years and years. They still are good. I only got these because um, I wanted new ones just for fun. They will last you forever. Usually before you paint, you're going to need your brushes, your paint, a paper towel or a cloth that you don't mind getting dirty, with paint all over it and basically ruining it and making it a paint cloth, and a cup of water for cleaning your brushes. Depending on what kind of medium you use, you might want to use a different kind of brush cleaner. I usually work in acrylics and watercolor, so I'm going to be using water. Before you start your painting, it's usually a good idea to let your brushes soak for a little bit. You don't want them to soak for too long, and I'll tell you why. So first, we're going to put our brush in our water cup and let it sit there. You don't want to leave it there for too long because paint brushes are really just made out of wood, bristles, and super glue. If you let it soak for too long, the water is going to break up the super glue and then you're going to start losing bristles. And it really stinks when you're in the middle of the painting and you're painting and it looks great and then all of a sudden there's a string on your painting or like a little hair and it's from your brush and it's from your bristles because they're falling out because you are soaking them for too long. So at no point during painting should you soak your brushes for super long. It's easy to forget about them and a lot of people soak their brushes and you can just buy new ones if the bristles start falling out. But if you want brushes that are going to last for a long time, then don't leave them in the water. So at the beginning of painting, soak your brush and then before you start, dry off your brush by tapping on the side of your cup to get rid of that excess water and then wiping it down on your paper towel or cloth. And you'll notice your brush is now damp, but not soaking wet. Water is really great with acrylic paints because it thins out your paints and helps them blend and mix and spread really well. That's why we want to keep our brushes relatively wet throughout the entire process so that it can just be constantly messing with that paint. You don't want your brushes to get too wet, however. Get wet brush, get some blue paint. We're going to use blue because I love blue. You're going to get runny paint. How it goes. And it will start to drip down your canvas. And you don't want that. That means your paint is too thin. So we're that up. Um, if you run into this problem, the solution is to get more paint and less water. More paint, mix it in with the water, it'll thicken it up. But you can avoid this by just making sure you don't have too much water in your paint. Now, we've got a dirty brush, and we've been using it. We have paint on our canvas. All right, so we got a dirty brush. The bristles that were once orange are now blue. So to clean it, you wanna take your cup of water, put your brush in the water, and just stroke the bottom of the cup. You'll notice, you can see how the paint has now just gone off of the brush and it's pretty clean. At that point, you just want to wipe it off on your paper towel or your cloth and you're good. You can get a different color or whatever else you need to use this brush for, it's clean now. It's usually a good idea to clean your brushes like that between color uses, otherwise you might end up with a really muddy color on your canvas. Sometimes, though, you don't want to do that. It just depends on the situation, on the painting, and on how you're feeling, honestly. Good idea to clean your brushes between uses. When you're done with your painting and you want to make sure your brush is really clean at the end of the day and you want it to dry out and be ready for tomorrow or whatever, um, the way to clean it is to take it to the sink, turn the sink on, not full blast, but so that there's a good steady stream of water coming, and then just massage your bristles under the water like this with your thumb. It looks bad because I'm doing it just in the air right now, but um, underwater it'll warm up again. You don't 
don't want to push too hard, just very gently massage your bristles. If you want to massage your brush gently, because if you don't, your bristles will fall out or your brush will lose its shape and that's no good. When you're cleaning your brush under the sink, you can pretty visually see when it's clean. When the bristles are kind of nice, back to their original color, you don't see any paint here at the base of your brush, then you'll usually be good. When you're drying your brush, after you run it under the water, set out like a paper towel or a cloth, and then set your brush out flat on top of it so it can dry flat. You don't want it to sit like this because then the water will seep into the base of the brush and you'll lose bristles again because it'll just soak up that super glue and cause it to lose bristles again. Uh, you don't want to leave it standing up like this because gravity will push on the bristles and your brush will lose its shape. You just want to lay it flat until it dries. Um, just for a couple of hours, you can see when it dries. And then it's ready to go. When you store your brushes, you can store them flat like I showed you, just on a counter like this, just, or in a drawer, just like this. Or you can store them vertically, like so. I like to do it in cute little mugs and cups because I think they're cute. But do not, do not, do not, do not put your brush in with the wood side up and the bristles on the bottom. That is bad. Because what that does is it causes gravity to push down on the bristles again and your brush will lose shape. These bristles seem pretty strong. You wouldn't think it would do much damage, but after a while, your bristles will lose its shape and that sucks. What's nice about the brushes we give you is it's just synthetic brushes, synthetic bristles, which mean they're really good about holding paint. That means that you don't have to use as much paint because it'll do a good job spreading it around the canvas and you don't have to worry about loading your brush up with paint. You don't want to just glob paint and paint and paint on your brush because then it's a lot harder to clean. You get paint in the base of your brush and that causes issues, makes it more difficult to clean, and it can stain your brush. Sometimes, depending on the project, you're gonna wanna do that. But if you're following one of my tutorials, I'll let you know when it's time to do that. Or you can just experiment, but just be careful of your brushes. So even after you've cleaned your brushes, sometimes the bristles won't go back to their original color. That's okay. That doesn't mean that your brush isn't clean. Usually it just means that it's stained. So you're painting and you're painting and you've got your pretty colors going and you need a different brush. So you set this one off to the side because we don't soak it in the water for very long. You get a new brush, you're painting with a new brush, and you don't remember to clean this brush, and it's just sitting off to the side with the paint on it. Not a big deal. You'll clean it later, and it'll still be okay, but the bristles won't go back to their original color because it just kind of has been stained by the paint at that point. It doesn't mean it's not clean. It doesn't mean you shouldn't use it anymore. It doesn't mean you need to throw it away. If you are cleaning your brushes in the sink or with your cup and there is no paint coming off of your brush, then you're good. You can keep using it. It's pretty clean. I had this brush for a while. It used to be white. And then I used some black with it and I didn't clean off the black. And now it is um, an ombre brush. <laughs> but that's okay because it's still clean. There's no paint left in this. If I use this paintbrush, it's not going to add black to any of the colors I already have. It's just got black bristles now. And that might happen with your brushes if you're not careful about cleaning them right away. Um, once again, not the end of the world. So don't stress about it. A good habit to get into when you're doing paintings with us is to make sure that you're getting your brush wet between coats of paint. Because the paint is thinned by water. We want to make sure that our brush never ends up too dry. So here's a brush that I never, here's a brush I didn't add water to, I just put paint on. I'll show you, I put quite a bit of paint on, but I'll show you, it's called dry brush, and it makes a really neat texture, but the paint does not go a long way. You can see there's still a lot of paint there on the brush, and a lot of paint here on the canvas but because there's no water added to it, it doesn't blend well, it doesn't mix well. It makes really cool textures. So this is a technique you can use when you're wanting to blend colors and you're wanting to blend paint and you're wanting to cover a surface, usually you're gonna want water. So it's usually just a good habit to get into getting your brush wet between tapes and using a damp brush to apply your paint. 
If you have forgotten to add water and you've just brushed on and, and you end up with a dry brush stroke and you want it to blend more, it's okay. You can just add water later. Just take your brush, put some water on it. Not a lot because you don't want it to run. Just go over it with the water. The water will activate that dry paint and it will spread a lot more. Anyways, I think that's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, if you found it informative, please like and subscribe. It really helps us be able to produce more art videos that we can share with everyone. We really appreciate all the support that we get. For information about future paintings that we're gonna be releasing on YouTube or even live classes I do online, check out bossybrushes.com. You can find out all the information you need there. You can buy supplies there. We have paint kits that are already set up for you to follow along with our instructions. They include our brushes that we showed you here. Those can be shipped to you. And you can find out a whole lot more about ways you can support Bossy Brushes. Anyways, we love you. Don't stress. Stay creative. And we'll see you next time.